I'm Liam. I'm gonna perform some poems for you. A uh, quick disclaimer before I start for legal reasons. The following poems are all based on a true feeling. Any similarities to real people, places or events are entirely intentional. <laughs> the first poem is called a uh, run on title. It's called Rachel Underlay Takes the 738 Train. Rachel Underlay takes the 738 train five days a week. Rain <laughs> makes the platform slick or sunlight warms it up or the ground gapes wide and swallows the sky. Rachel checks the forecast every morning. She chooses her outfit accordingly. The same faces change clean-shaven suits consistent. He holds his briefcase like he's nursing it, but the team with braces stopped being a team. The man with eyes made of teeth who plays tricks on reality is only there half the time. Occasionally, the train's delayed, leaves, on the tracks, or signaling failure, or sometimes there's an accident. The breathing rooms. Most new businesses fail within a few months of opening, so the breathing room's continued success is an anomaly. It's a testament to what can be achieved with just word of mouth marketing when a service takes a firm hold of the zeitgeist, when the zeitgeist is the convulsing spirit of a fish who died utterly dry and gasping on the banks. The city as myth. A labyrinth without a minotaur, but a number of recruitment consultants, possibly an infinite amount, or possibly just one huge beast of a recruitment consultant with many writhing heads. Usually, a hero is dispatched by the gods or head office to dispatch the monster made by the gods or head office, but this myth has no heroes, no focus left with an ensemble cast of clueless adventurers living off hand and protein shakes, entirely committed to dragging out a metaphor. I've been Liam Bates, thank you very much.